Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a general reading for the week, so um, I apologize if I'm a little bit late, so we'll go from right now until a week from today, so that'll be from May the 9th to May the 16th, okay, so this isn't a love-focused reading, um, this is actually going to be a five card spread for the Aries um, and this is going to be letting go of the past so that's what we're focusing on right now is banishing you know what you need to work on okay so this is going to be a little bit different from the past present future um, you know action and you know this is going to be um, card number one for the Aries for um, May the 9th, 2016 through May the 16th, 2016. <laughs> so it's going to be 5 16, 16. I don't know. Is that day going to be symbolic or important for some of you? I don't know. We'll see. So um, card number one is going to be what you need to discard. Okay. Card number two is what you need to block. Card number three is what action you need to take. And card number four is what you need to avoid. Okay. And uh, the last card is what you need to accept. <clears throat> so this is kind of like the fifth card is a final <clears throat> card. Okay. And it may not necessarily be a negative card. Okay. And that last one. So we'll just have to go from there. And this is a new spread that I've never done. Um, if you want a personalized reading, go to the link in the video description box. It is a link to my website. I try to do same day readings, but guys, I, I get so many. <laughs> I get so many people. Thank you so much for y'all for who purchase personal readings. Seriously, because I really appreciate the support. Um, and I'll try my best to get your reading done the same day. Um, so that it won't cost you extra. But I can't promise it, so I can only do what I can do as one person. But I am going to be open all week and next week for reading. So I'm going to open up my schedule a whole lot more because um, the schedule is kind of blocked off a whole lot because I've been really busy. All right, so Aries, let's take a look at what's going on. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Again, this may not resonate with you because... You know, I mean, your situation may be different. Okay, so the stars or the universe might affect you differently. It's all about how you react to certain things. So let's see what's going on for the Aries. And it may not be anything that you need to let go of. You know, I mean, let's take a look and see. So card number one is what you need to discard, Aries. And this is the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is someone who is advanced mentally this person um really has the, their third eye is open so they're very intuitive they know your secrets they know what you're thinking and this is a literal person in your life so there's someone in your life aries that you need to let go of okay this person does not mean you any good they're probably younger than you they could be older than you depending on your age it could be a male or female <clears throat> it's somebody that's using mind tricks on you. And I think that you feel deep down subconsciously that you are. Um, but I, I don't think that you quite grasp or you're able to accept the impact that this person is definitely having over your life. I want to see where the moon is at. Um... So the moon is getting bigger. So we're in a waxing moon. And uh, we're in a, a actually a waxing crescent phase. So um, this is the first phase after the new moon. So we just recently got past the new moon. And the new moon is when you start over. I want to see when the new moon was. So we had a new moon. Um, actually a few days ago okay so right now it's just getting bigger okay it went from full 
And this was actually illumination. So May the 6th was a really, really, really important day. Okay, a lot of stuff probably happened for a lot of people on that day. And right now it's May the 9th, so we're, we're probably about 5% waxing. So the moon is getting bigger. Um, so as far as letting go and discarding, you know, um, you can definitely use the full moon or the new moon to do this. Okay. It's not just when it's waning, um, a waxing crescent moon is really, really very powerful. Um, what you need to block Aries, you did get the world card. So this is really interesting. This is a major arcana card. Um, the world card is about, I would say, you know, um, the end of something, okay? The, the world card is like a completion. This is a completion of, of a huge cycle for you. And so what is blocking you? The world card. You are worrying too much about things that you cannot change. You need to stick with the things that you can change and stop trying to change things that you can't change. Stop trying to change people. Stop trying to change situations. It's not your call. I'm just being honest with you, Aries, okay? Again, the world is a young mermaid. She's made her way around the world. She ends her journey where she started it, okay? However, experience has transformed her. Around her, a large snake completes the circle by devouring its own body. Below her sits the beasts she has overcome on her, on her travel. So this card is very symbolic. There's a lot of um, um, symbolic that I'm seeing in the world card. Um, I am using the Divi Deviant Moon Tarot deck just to remind you guys in case you want to Google what the card looks like. You guys actually can do that. It'll only take you a couple of seconds. I just didn't have time to do all the editing for you guys. So, um, I, you know. Um, in the World card, the moon is shown as being full and you can also see the sun coming up behind her. So what you need to block, in my opinion, since the World card is a major arcana, this is about completion of a cycle or journey. But it's also a triumph. Okay, it's a hard fought victory. Now, what the world card symbolizes again. Um, another for some of you, I would say you let things worry you. You know, you, you spend too much time crying over spilled milk. Okay. I believe that's what the world card is saying. Now, card number three is what action you need to take. So how do you need to proceed? And you got the Ace of Wands. So you need a brand new start. And you need to figure out who you are. Okay. The Ace, the ace is all about new beginnings. And then the Wands is all about your identity, your moral code. Okay. Who you are as a person, discovering yourself. So the Ace of Wands is very symbolic of a birth or maybe even a possible rebirth okay so again you've got the crescent moon in the ace of wands um what do you need to avoid what to stay away from you got the six of swords you need to stop running from your problems this is not going to solve it the six of swords is a person in a hot air balloon the balloon is being held up by six swords and the energy that's carrying this person over all these troubled waters. Um, again, Google the image of the Six of Swords. Um, it's coming from the person's crown. And they have what looks like braids in their hair. So it's really symbolic of, you know, you need to, to really try to balance things. You always run. And that's what the Six of Swords is saying. The Six of Swords is... is the card of leaving a bad situation behind. Okay, now that's normally a good thing. However, you're creating these bad situations. So you need to avoid running from them and face them. 
Now, this is what you need to accept. This is your final card, what to embrace. And you got the Ace of Pentacles. You need to accept the blessings that you are being given. You see them there, but you won't accept them. It's something that scares you. The Ace of Pentacles is about new money beginnings, triumphant money beginnings, lots of money, a huge change in money. Um, and this is a start for you. Okay, so you need to accept this new start in your life and embrace it. Okay, um, that's going to do it for um, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. <clears throat>